Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to use Instantly AI. So this is a great email software. Instantly scales your outreach campaigns with unlimited email sending accounts and warmups. B2B lead database and smart AI. So if you're looking to scale your business, this tool will help you tremendously. It's, it's a great tool if you're trying to scale your business. Say that you're trying to sell a service and you want to cold email a lot of people to get a few clients, this tool is going to help you. So let's have a look what people say. Email outreach is one of the most effective ways to expand your business and gain new business. Instantly does this well. You can add unlimited email accounts and just does all the basics in the right way. So yeah, as you can see, it has good ratings, ease of use, quality of support, ease of setup before we get into the pricing start for free no credit card required 25 leads and free warm-ups included so now let's look at the pricing so now we have the monthly as you can see $37 a month unlimited email accounts unlimited email warm-up 1,000 active leads 5,000 emails monthly live chat support and for hyper growth unlimited email accounts unlimited email warm-up 25 ah, 25,000 active leads, 100,000 emails monthly, and premium support. If you want to, you can pay for the year, so it's cheaper. You get 20% off, that's up to you. So let's just hop straight into it. So I'm gonna create an account, so I'm gonna click get started. So now I'm just gonna feel like this. I'm gonna use a temp email for this video. Now just copy this and then paste the email. You can just use your real email, but I'm just doing this for the video. And now we need to write a password. And I agree, and I agree. And click join now. And now it will take you to this page here. It will say, let's get to know you. We'd like to know more about you, so we hope you get the most out of instantly. Where did you find us? You just fill us out if you want to. What describes your business so if you're an agency or, or if you're a software so if you're trying to sell a software recruiting consulting coaching or other you just click continue i'm just going to just pick a few here and click continue and now i have to verify the email so i'll be back so now i just logged in i verified my account and now i'm just going to cross that and click next next and next and all done so at first, you can see right here, this is where we add our email accounts. So if you want to add a new account, you can use G Suite, Office, or IMAP. So depending on what Gmail you want to use, you could do that. And there's a lot of options. There's Zoho email and there's, and there's G Suite. Depending on what you want to use, that's up to you. So if you wanted to do that, you just add new. And now we can get onto the campaigns. So create and edit an RH campaign. So if you want to add a new campaign, you can click add new. And now you just give a name here. So I'm just going to write test and click continue. So once you get past that, it will bring up to this page, add some leads to get started. So if you want to, you can import by CSV, lead finder, emails manually and Google Sheets. Uh, but yeah, see if I want to upload more, you need to upgrade the plan. And now we can check our analytics here. So this is the analytics part. This is where it's going to tell you the success rate of your emails. So contacted, it will give you some information there and the open rate. So if you send out like heaps of emails and it will tell you the open rate for that and the links clicked. So that's a good analytic to track to see how many people clicked your link, which would be a good determination if the email is great or not and how many replied, which is another good one. Number of leads that have replied to this campaign and opportunities. So now you can set that to a different price. So number of leads that you have marked as positive per positive lead value is not that click to update. So if I want to, I can make it per lead. Maybe, maybe we'll make it five, 500 and click set. And now every time updates, it will track my leads. So once I update that, it will track my uh, leads. So you see, now you can see per positive lead value is set to 500. So that is that part. And click activities. This will give you the history. Last 90 days, your activity stream will appear here once the campaign is published. 
and you can see right here we've done leads and sequence so now this is what you would write you'd write your sequence here you could have like four sequence or one sequence depending on how many sequence but four is probably the sweet spot and you can click to resume the campaign and now you just want to type your subject name so you know you just write whatever you want to write for your business and then you write your sequence and you can add step and add another step and yeah you can go on with that and you can click click to resume and or you can share the campaign so let's head over to the schedule area so now we're on to the schedule part so as you can see there's new schedule add schedule start now and no end date so if we want to make a schedule we just have to write a name here and click save and on the days monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday or saturday sunday depending on what you want to do and the timing this is when it's going to get sent so if you want to get it sent at 8 30 in the morning to 7 30 pm and on a and you want to do it in atlantic time for canada that's what you would have to do and you'd click save and as you can see it saved it there for us so what else do we have here we have options accounts to use select one or more accounts to send emails from so if we want to use an email account we just added that email there add email account stop sending emails on reply so we can enable or disable so that will be a good option stop sending emails to a lead if a response has been received and you can click this stop on auto reply and tracking track email opens enabled you definitely want that track link clicks is which is new you can enable that you'd want to see how many people clicked on your link to see the success rate of the link click it'll tell us a lot of info on the email copywriting that we've done so delivery optimization send emails as text only no html it's recommended but it's depending on what you want to do you just click there and i'll disable that but yeah depending on what you want to do and data limit max numbers of emails to send per day depending on the plan that you've got you would want to do this to according to the plan that you've got so say for example we want to send a thousand daily limit we can set that to that and we can go to show advanced options sending patterns specify how you want your emails to go time gaps between emails so this is good you want to make sure you warm up your accounts and stuff like that and you want to make sure you send it in a a good way so it doesn't hurt your accounts and yeah so you just want to write maybe 30 mins if you want to do that you just want to make sure you do this right but yeah depending on your business it's all up to you max new leads now we can put our limit here in the max new leads prioritize reaching out to a new lead over schedule follow ups if you want to click that you'd have to upgrade it provider matching matches your leads email provider with your mailbox provider for boosted deliverability outlook to outlook google to google etc so we enable that if we want to stop campaign for company or reply stop the campaign automatically for all leads or leads from a company if a reply is received from any of them enable company reply if we want to so add cc and bcc so if we want to add that you just type it here for the cc and bcc right there and now we can click launch if we want to but yeah so that is that part click save so let's have a look down here so we've done the analytics so this is more of in depth of the analytics so total sent it will give you the information how many emails you sent the open rate so the open rate it'll tell you the percentage of the open rate here click rate and reply rate and opportunities so this will be a nice graph as you can see the blue line will be sent the total opens will be this color and unique opens will just be this light green and this total replies will be green and yeah and total clicks will be this one and unique clicks will be that so that's a good information sheet and you can go to three months you can go to seven days filter it to active pause and completed and then we can do a custom range so if we just want to do it from the first to the third click apply and it'll show us that and now we can click here and click account analytics this will be the specific account that you use it'll give you the analytics so it'll be the same here total sent open rate click rate reply rate opportunities and that's it for that part now we'll go to uni box here so this will give us more information here so it will show us the emails interested so it gives us a nice organized section meeting booked this will be telling you the meetings that you've got meeting completed so if you've completed that meeting close out of office wrong person not interested and then we can go to all campaigns and all inboxes 
so this is a great section for your inboxes here and then we can go to settings so yeah you can see here if we want to upgrade our billing we can right now and let's look at the current usage then we can look at our current usage of how many emails we have sent and we click workspace here and we can make an organization profile you can change it update your password integrations this is a great way to add slack and zapier and instantly api so we can copy api add new manage so we can integrate these webhooks notify internal services when an event occurs in your instantly workspace and then I look at the preferences here default opportunity value you can write that ai automations automatically tag interest status and replies automatically tag out of offer status unibox show auto replies in unibox email preference account discount notifications and we click save and then we can have a block list so if we want to block certain emails we can click import this will be good because you don't want to send the same email especially if they said no so you can block them so we can import the block list so you see sv data manually in google sheets and we can click google sheets here and we can actually set block list right there so that's it for that part and now if we want to go down to here it will give us more information on how to use this you want to go for this if you're having troubles you can and now it will give us more information right here join if you want to you can join the facebook group see what's planned send us a message and then you click here if we need to chat we will be able to chat which will be great because you know sometimes there's problems with the program and you want to message him so you can just click message and send us a message and if you want help you can click help here so now this will give us information on what like the common problems so what is instantly account connection setup so it tell us on it will tell us exactly how to do things like account warm-up and how it works definitely would be a good read to read that best practices and all the good information and yeah that's it for today's video if you did enjoy please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe